morning, good morning, good morning. It's your buddy Mikey here, SD Fish and Sips, and I'm rolling in hard to San Diego Bay, Shelter Island. It's Wednesday, April 13th, 2022 today, and we've been having some winds, some strong winds, no rain, but just really strong winds has kept me off the water. It's kind of typical for this time of the year, but my buddy Matt Robosco hit me up from the old school kayak fishing days and he let me know that we, he was coming to San Diego Bay today. So if I wanted to meet up with him, I said, of course. So hopefully I can some bump some bait off of him, a couple sardines, fish the trap rig, the sand dog rig, throw the plastic around, play around with my Runkle Heroism uh, bait caster that I got. But look at this beauty, San Diego Bay, mixing it up. I've been hitting La Jolla hard, chasing the yellowtail, but now it's to chase the halibut, the booty here in San Diego Bay. So it's a beautiful sunrise here on a spring morning. We're gonna get it, Matt already launched. He launched his kayak, he's on a Hobie pedal kayak and he launched from Kellogg Beach, a different area. That's where Glenn, that's an option. It's a lot to drag the solo skiff, but with the kayak, it's not that bad. So that's an option if you have a kayak to launch at Kellogg. Otherwise, I'm using the boat ramp. Shouldn't be busy today because it's the Tuesday. Sometimes you can run into on the summertime when everyone's going for tuna out of here. It gets really, really busy and backed up. They got guys managing the launch ramp and all that good stuff. But before we get into the rest of the video, make sure you smash that subscribe, pound that like, show some love and support for the channel. Thank you for all the love and support. I'm just living the dream and I'm so thankful to be sharing this all with you. I mean, look what I get to do every day, just fishing hard, making content, sharing, trying to get everybody on fish for just fishing hard. So let's check out the launch ramp. I'm gonna loop back through. Check it out, Shelter Island launch ramp here in San Diego. Woo, nice day today. There's Dinghy Doctor truck. Say what's up to Jean at Dinghy Doctor. Seeing him, he's always doing good stuff. Let's get launched. over by Val Ballast Point or the sub dock. There's doing a good jetty out in that area because he went and picked up bait. I don't have any money for bait. Got the tiller extension ready to go. We're gonna do a little stand up. Stand up riding right here. Put that bad boy on like so. Get my kill switch here. Put on my life vest and ready. And then I figured out this new technique to balance on the seat. Watch this. So now I can kind of lean back against it. It's not. It's good and it's bad. 
the action, it's cool to watch it. But you gotta be careful because there's usually a lot of wakes from so many people on boats and stuff like that. My brother got flipped. Tiller extension off, take my switch, get my bait tank hooked up. Oh, that's a cool plane. Okay, if we can get some bait from Matt, I'm gonna put the sand dog special, I gotta get a weight. It's like a three ounce weight, four ounce weight. Ball weight I'll clip on to that sliding clip I have. And then I have that on 15 pound. I see I main, this is the Magic Cast, I have it, Magic Cast MC SX. And then I have a Talius rod with it, pretty flexy tip. And 15 pound fluorocarbon leader to the Sand Dog, Carolina Keeper. Found this rusty ringed uh, circle hook. And then uh, the treble hook for the trap rig. That'll be for the live sardines. And then I got this plastic, it might be a little bit big for the bay, on the war bait. And then I'm checking out, I'm testing this Runkle Heroism bait caster. See how this thing works here in the bay. I've been using it for Calico out in La Jolla. And then I got my sabiki to make some bait, but we're only bringing three setups today. We're out here in the middle of the bay. It's 70 feet deep. These guys are moving it. Matt's over here. Let's see it. He's waving. <laughs> He's probably hooked up. How's it going? Oh, really? Yeah, my just five mine's working good. Yeah. How is the bait? Oh, looks good. Oh, well, dang. What happened? Your battery died? Dang, they look like really nice baits. Have you had any uh, bites? I just got one spotty. How long? You haven't been fishing here that long, huh? Yeah. It takes it takes a solid hour to get to the bait bar to get bait and get over here, huh? It's going. It's really good. I think I had too much bait in here too. Yeah, yeah, and then I'm just gonna I'm gonna fish right next to you so that whenever if you need any more. Yeah, mine's filling up. Mine's flowing nice. I'm good to go. <laughs> you might not be the best. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Oh, see, now it's filling up. That's weird. Well, so. 
So yeah, that's what I is, is, is there something with water level of if there's too much water? Cause I've known I've had issues with mine. It's flowing really, really good right now, but I've never had a problem. So I plugged this little hole. Now it's the water level's way up since I offloaded that bait. So I think I had too much bait and it was like pushing out on the floor maybe. Oh, it looks like it's flowing good, good now, now, yeah. It's spilling out nicely off the side. Because it wasn't like that earlier. It was not flowing that hard, and they're all happy now. So maybe too much bait in there. Like the pressure pushes in on the intake. Sweet, oh, thanks, man. I don't know. I haven't got any heli bites. I got kicked out of the heli. Okay, here we go. First bait in the water. Get the weight on it. That's a Halley rake. Dang, I missed them. That is for sure halibut rake. Let's get them. Drop back down. Little shorty. You just lost a nice one too? There you go. I lost one They're right here. You just been in the same spot, huh? So my engine keeps stalling out because we got this on it. Good. Trying to figure out what happened here. If I'm hooked up or not. Or just kelp. Just kelp. Dang. Oh, I just lost it. That was my last Carolina keeper. I'm just gonna tie on a Carolina rig. No trap hook. Okay, there it is. I got the fresh trap rig tied up with the J hook, rusty. My stuff is rusty and a treble hook. No more Carolina keepers. Come on, Hallie. Where's that rake? Where's that bite? I've gotten that big time rake. I don't know if I just got bit off or I got snapped off by the kelp. That's cool. We got the submarine now going with the tugboats over here. We have the ship at the docks and we got the submarine now getting brought out. I'm still waiting for my halibut hit. All I've gotten was so far that one big rake. Then I lost the setup. I don't know if it's from the kelp or getting bit off. Matt's gotten two shorts and lost a big one. He's saying shallower water. I, I was playing when got raked in the deeper water. What do we got? Hallie. Yep. Close to keeper. Maybe not. We'll see. Dang! Should've just swung him. That was stupid. 
I don't know, it was close. I think it was just barely short, but I don't know what I was doing. All right, we're over here by this rock that's starting to get exposed. Got the spotty. See you later, Mr. Spotty. We'll get the release on him. Lost what well, could have been maybe a keeper halibut. I got my trap rig retied on. It bit it off right at the, I'm using 15 pound floor. It bit it off right at the treble hook. I'm gonna go drop down the same, around the same area. See what we can make happen. Looks like a spotty rake to me. Oh, maybe that the backside tally. 11.08 right now. That's enough for this side over here. We're gonna move across over by the bait barge. I got that one. I got a big time rake, and then I brought a halibut up to the side of the boat. I went to pull it in, and it broke the line. It bit through the line just above the treble hook. I'm gonna bring my net next time. I knew I should have brought my net. So it's 11, like I said, a little past 11. Uh, there's, you know, I, I've got two or three strikes, one stuck enough to bring it up to color. Couldn't land it. Let's see what happens over here at the bait barge. There you go, you got the new low and loading up on bait for their tuna trip later today. They'll be leaving this evening probably on a day and a half trip. That's who was in my fish report video. Limits of bluefin, they're getting them already. I'm gonna go ahead and drop down a bait over here by the bait barge. See if we get some Hallie, Hallie. Yeah, bro. How's the bite been? Any rakes or any hits? An 18 inch and a 19 inch sand bass. Oh yeah, look at that. Is that a sand bass right there? Yeah. That's one of them? Yeah, and then the other one, I gave the stringer, seal came up and just started yanking at it and he was like, ah! Oh my god, that's risky. He could have flipped. Yeah, well I told him, I go, I'll carry it now. And I keep him right here locked next to the oar, so it's like right next to my boat. Yeah. I like your, uh, that bait tank you made. That's the Supreme model when it's that big. Anything good over here? Man, big dog feel. Get a little closer. Matt said he got broke off by something big. I bet you a seal stole and stuff. But he's still grinding it right next to the bait barge. Okay, that's enough of this over here. We're gonna go back over to the Zuniga Jenny on the other side. About high noon right now. Gotta get a halibut. Come on. Got a biter, but it feels like a spotty with all the head shakes. Yep. Spotty life. All right, we're over here by this rock that's starting to get exposed. Got the spotty. See you later, Mr. Spotty. We'll get the release on him. I think that was Spotty's. Got one. Ah. Another spotted bay bass on the live sardine. Go ahead and get the release on this guy.
okay. That's it, that's all for out here. I've had about enough of that. That's all I'm doing is just, my bait's getting caught in the grass. I'm getting sucked out. Go fish somewhere else, maybe over by Spanish Landing. I'm gonna motor. That's the beauty about having this motor. Glenn and the kayak, they're gonna have to battle it out against the current and the wind. Me? Usually I get all spotted bay bass, but hopefully they're whole halibut and then we'll hop over to Spanish Landing and call it after that. Unless we run out of bait before then. All right, that's enough for this side over here. I got a couple more pieces of bait. And then I'm gonna go over to Shelter. I mean, uh, Spanish landing. Windy, windy, windy. Next stop here, we got Spanish landing. Back over by Liberty Station under the bridge. But I'm gonna fish the corner over here. That's Glenn's little hot spot. I got a couple pieces. Let's see how much bait we got left. Five pieces. Big long drift out of here, corner, and then through the bridge, and then along sailboats. Really want that keepy, keeper halibut. Let's see. All right, check it out. It's 2:46 now. Lot one more piece of bait left, and we get bit on the last piece of bait. Long day. This bait's dead. I think got blasted by some spotted bay bass. That looks like those rakes, not halibut rakes. That's gonna do it. That's it, that's all for here on San Diego Bay on this Wednesday, April 13, 2022. Met out with Matt out by uh, Zuniga Jetty. He got, had some bait for me, so he hooked me up with a half a, of a kayak scoop and then started trolling or started dropping down the sand dog rig the trap rig ended up with that one i got raked uh one time heavy while matt got ashore and then lost a bigger one uh at the kayak and then i hooked into one and got it all the way up onto the side and i went to pull it and it uh came off i lost that one and then a couple spotted bay bass i saw glenn we headed over to the bait barge saw glenn over there Back over to Zuniga, caught some spotted bay bass. Fished the pilings over there, got some rakes and some bites, nothing stuck, and then came over here to the shelter at Spanish Landing, fished here, but nothing. So thank you all for watching. One love, I still love fishing out here. Sorry I can't catch any fish lately. Not, not that much action, but that's how it goes. This is the real deal. Yeah, I'm just gonna grind it hard, fish it hard, and share all my experiences. Try to help everybody out, put you guys, everybody else watching on more fish. So thank you all for watching. We're gonna make our way back and call it a day here.